Yep, giveaway time. Watch until the end of the video so you guys can know how to enter the giveaway and have a chance to win one of these prizes that you are seeing. On to the video. What is up, my sampies, and welcome back to the Anime Monopoly channel, where we talk about anything and everything anime. And before we get started, remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want more videos of VTubers, TCG, anime, manga, manga hauls, merch hauls, figures, reviews on figures, anything and everything anime. You'll get it on this channel. That's why we're the Monopoly channel. But other than that, let's get started. And today we're gonna talk about an article called Black Clover, 10 Best Fights Ranked by this journalist, Dev. I won't try to say his last name because it sounds very, looks very difficult. Uh, I'm a big Black Clover fan. I love Black Clover, but I really want to see how he ranked these fights because I can kind of see my number one or two fights. I kind of know what what they are. Uh, but before, comment down below what are your best fights in Black Clover down below. Let me know. Let me know. All right, let's get to it. When are you gonna? Read all this, yeah. Yuki Tabata, this guy's good, he's pretty good. All right, Yami versus Jack the Ripper at number 10. I do remember this fight. The fight between Yami and Jack the Ripper is a friendly, friendly sparring match during the captain's conference. Jack the Ripper is the captain of the Green Mantis Squad, known for his slash magic, which allows him to cut through almost anything. Yami the captain of Black Bulls is a master of dark magic and skilled swordsmen. They anticipate each other's moves and contacts to push their magical abilities to the limit, making a better display of technical prowess. Their friendly rivalry adds a lighthearted fun aspect. Jesus, like these ads, golly. But this is number 10. I'll take it. Not too bad. It was a pretty good fight. You know, and a friendly sparring session between rivals. I like it. I respect it. Number 9. I think we kind of saw what number 9 was. So let's get to it. Asta versus Ladros. This is the guy from... Uh, what's his name? Yeah. Okay. The Asa and Ladros fight takes place in the Witch's Forest. Yes, Ladros is a matron of Diamond Kingdom. There we go. And a member of the Eight Shining Generals, known as a unique reinforcement magic which can increase his strength, speed, and endurance. Yes, this fight was amazing. I did like it. Uh, number nine. I can accept that. Number nine because uh, Ladros was a bit annoying. Like, oh my goodness, this guy. I'm sick of this guy. Get him out of here already. Beat him up already. I'm sick of it. I'm very sick of it. <laughs> So thank goodness they beat him. Asta versus Ladros at number nine. Yeah, I'll take that. Number eight. Noel versus Vanica. Number eight. Really? Number eight. Hmm. Interesting. I will have this a bit higher, but I want to see what this person, uh, what Dev has higher than this. You know, people, we love Vanica. Vanica is very crazy. Part of the Dark Triad. Uh, crazy woman. Uh, I love her character. One thing they did with Vanica very well. Her character, the way she's a an, an maniac, just straight, straight maniac. They did a phenomenal job with her on the aspect. And her fight with Noah was very, very good. You know, the backstory. Uh, Noah has a bone to pick with Vanica. Love this fight. It was that big. I would have it a bit higher. This is at number. What? What number? Eight. <laughs> I can just scroll and look at it. Number eight. Remember, these are ranked. Number eight. This is ranked number eight fights in Black Clover. So I, I could have this a little bit higher, but let's see what, what our journalist has higher. Uh, my hero best fights of the show. We'll probably do that one next next time 
Number seven, Yami versus Charlotte. Okay, it was a good fight, because it was. I really did enjoy it. Uh, and this is Elf Charlotte. You know, this is her quote-unquote alter ego, you could say. But I will definitely put Noel versus Vanica above this one, 100%. I will switch them to uh, have Noel versus Vanica 7 and this one at 8. Don't get me wrong, this fight was great, but I just enjoyed Noel's fight a bit more than this one. You know, I can see why he kind of put it at number 7, you know. If you know Charlotte, you know she has the lovesy dubsies for our boy Yami. <laughs> but this isn't her, this is the elf version, so. Number seven. All right, number six. Magic Knights versus the Elf Tribe. This looks like it's part of the manga. Hold up. Okay, I'm tripping. <laughs> Yeah, this is the reincarnation arc where the elves reincarnate some of the mm -hmm. some of the captains, some of the persons, some of the uh, magic knights themselves. Um, I'll be honest, this was I don't know how I feel about this one because I don't know. <laughs> uh, I would have gone more with single fights than uh, a group you know like group versus group but to say again Noel versus Vanek I would definitely put above this one don't get me wrong all the fights that were going on during this reincarnation arc were very very good this arc is one of my favorite arcs where the elves come through they want to kill the humans because of the past, yada yada yada, so on and so forth. But when the captains come in, love it, it's great. But I don't know. I would I would have liked if he would have pinpointed certain fights of the certain captains. Uh, but I guess if I was to have this one, I would have it. Definitely have this one at seven above the other ones for sure. So. Magic Knight versus the Elf Tribe number six. And it is a key turning point in the story, so. I can see why that is number six. Okay. Here we go. Asta, you know, and Noel versus. Oh my goodness. Number five. Yo, let me say something about this fight. This fight was epic. For him to have it at number five. Personally, I would have it a bit higher, but now I'm very, very curious of what the. Oh, I think there's two fights I'm thinking about at this moment that are. If he's going strictly off the anime, there's a couple fights I can see better than this one. Uh, and there I'm thinking of some he might have put over this one. Which I hope he didn't. I will personally have this one higher. Because this fight was like one of the fights that showed off Asta, showed off the, his true power, who he really was, how strong he really is. Great, great fight. Loved it. Amazing and epic. Uh, I will have it higher. You know, he does have it in the top five, so let's see how much. How much, how much, how much what the other fights are but this fight was, is definitely uh higher for me because uh, like it shows Asta's power and Mara is a great villain as well one of the best villains I've seen uh so yeah Mars versus Asta you know in Noel number five number four Asta Noel and Mimosa versus Fauna huh Okay, I respect it, him having it at number four. I would definitely have this one lower. I say it is better than Yami and Charlotte. 
I just been running a 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we'll have that one at 6. Mars, I will have it here. And then Noel Venica at number 5. And the Mars fight <clears throat> will definitely have it at number 4. Because I really do think highly, highly of that fight. Loved it and enjoyed it. This one, I did enjoy it, but I didn't enjoy it as much. Because Fauna was... Eh, she was good. She was great, don't get me wrong. But didn't really enjoy it as much. I feel like they didn't really do much with Fauna. I feel like they could have done a whole lot more, but that's just me. Get the way, cat. Uh, so this one, I would definitely have it. What did I say? A six. Noel versus Vanica. Five. Austin Noel and Mimosa versus Fauna. Six. Noel versus Vanica. Five in uh, Mars versus the crew and number four R top three i think i know two of the fights in top three i'm not sure about one of them but let's let's get to it oh i think i know the i think i know the top three fights they're also epic but let's see how he ranked them let's see how he ranked them number three Black Bulls versus Dante. Yes, this is one of the fights I have up there. This fight was epic. This fight was great. It just hyped everybody up. Oh, but it was very, very close to the ending of, of the anime. Good thing the anime is coming back. I can't wait for the uh, Spade Art Kingdom to come back. I haven't watched the movie yet. I will watch the movie eventually to make a review on it. Probably a podcast or something. To make a movie, uh, a podcast on that. Black Bull versus Dante, yes. Number three, I can see the number three because I feel like the other two are better. If the other two are what I think they are, which I hope they are, not think they are. Number three, Black Bull versus Dante, great, loved it. Show how crazy Dante is. Pure power, just a menace. Crazy, many other triads are maniac. Black triad. Some of the best villains out there. Black Triad. I'm going to say unique in some of the best villains out there. Just saying. Just saying. Top villains for sure. Number two. <laughs> what the freak? Asta, Yanni, and Fenro versus Veto. Yes. You look goofy. You goofy mofo. But anyway, <laughs> this fight is one of the fights I was thinking about. I will have this fight at number one. This fight was a fight that just showed the the chemistry between uh, the Black Bulls, how they were trying everything, and their power to beat this guy. This guy is strong. This guy was epic. This guy was roof. List. If you watch this fight, he just did not give a damn. He just didn't care. Period. This fight was also oh good. One of the moments where uh, he thought Asta was gonna be it for Asta, but Asta comes back and Asta's not done. And then Yami coming through, slashy washy, passing his limit. Man, this fight was epic. I would definitely have this one at number one. What is he going to have at number one? Is it what I think it is? Is it what I think it is? Let's see. Is it what I think it is? Yes. No, it's just not what I think it is. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I forgot about this fight. But this fight was epic. Dev, I disagree with some of your rankings. Uh... Noel versus Vanica definitely, definitely very, very low. In my opinion, should have been higher. But Asta and Yuno versus Licked, yes, I would. Look, this fight was epic. It was great. All these three guys were going, well, Asta and uh, Yuno doing everything in their power to fight Lick. Lick is just kind of like money whopping them, <laughs> slapping them silly. Fight was epic. I love them. 
and also shows the chemistry between the two rivals how they're they want to do anything and everything to be evil against uh against the the kingdom the clover kingdom uh this fight i respect him having number one i am surprised he does not have the wizard king versus uh licked you know what he called himself <laughs> i forgot what he called himself but that fight was an epic fight to me as well i wouldn't have it not top three but i would definitely have it in my top 10. i'll probably replace the captains and versus the elves with that fight um but respects yes this fight was an epic one it was crazy and one of the best ones yet Oh man, there's so many other good fights I'm literally thinking about right now. Wow, he let them out. Uh, Asta and um, nothing going on. His sister, uh, Mary Leon. Oh my god, her fight with the elf. What's his name? The lazy elf. That fight was so. Oh my. I can't believe he let the fight out. I can't believe he let the fight. Hey, look, this is his top ten ranked. He clearly has watched the whole thing. If he has Dante at number three, but what do you guys think about this top ten? Let me know your top ten down in the comments below. Is this a good top ten? Did he leave some out that you think he should have included? I thought he left some out that were very good that he didn't include. But anyways. <laughs> that fight Marina, that fight was epic that fight was it but anyways guys thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the support and remember to stay safe be safe and keep on watching anime all right guys you made it to the end of the video you will know how to enter the giveaway uh and uh turn to the giveaway is gonna be on the screen but i will say it out loud as well you have to subscribe this you have to be subscribed to like this video and comment down below what is your favorite video of mine it could be this one it could be one from the past but as long as you comment what is your favorite video and why is your favorite video of mine let me know in the comments and that you answer agree with that so thank you guys for support have a good one